Another core component of ISO 42001 is the AI risk management process. And there's actually a, a whole other framework for AI risk management, which is ISO 23894. So in ISO 42001, when they talk about risk management, you can reference this framework to really think deeply about risk management. So in way of just a quick framework overview, so you'll know what you're looking at, there, the first whole section just tells you to align your risk management program with your AI MS, especially clauses six through eight. So it's just nesting your aims with your risk management program. The next section is actually your risk assessment process. And it covers how you uncover risk, prioritize those risks, ingest them, evaluate them, do something about them and so forth. So there's some tactical guidance on what that should look like. But one of my favorite things about 23894 is the risk sources. So sometimes as you're executing a risk assessment, it's hard to think through like, what should you even think about to uncover risk? Where would you look? What types of things would you consider? And that Annex B, risk sources, provides some really good guidance for that. So just be aware that when you see risk management, there is this separate AI risk management framework. I'm, I wanna put it towards you a little more simply. So ignoring the framework, this is kind of how it looks. There's kind of these five buckets when you think about AI risk management. And when, at Risk360, when we're helping organizations set up a risk management program, this is kind of what we're thinking about. So first of all, we're thinking there has to be a governing body to do something about risk, to ingest them. At Risk360, we often call that the IRC or the Information Risk Council. That's usually accompanied by a risk council charter that formally governs the organ, uh, the body, allows it to operate, defines the roles and responsibilities, defines membership. But that risk council is typically operating on like a quarterly meeting cadence where on a quarterly basis, they'll get together, they'll review risk, they'll make decisions. So that's kind of the core of your risk management program. And then you have to do an actual risk assessment. That's what the framework I just showed you is kind of referring back to. You have to do a documented risk assessment. And doing a risk assessment, you're going to uncover risk. Well, when you uncover risk, you have to log those risks somewhere. And you can track those in a risk register. And then as you've logged risk, you have to actually prioritize them. Are these high, low, medium risks? Uh, what's the nature of the risk? Uh, how material are they? So on and so forth. Who owns the risk? That's the prioritization process that your risk management policy will define. And once you've kind of prioritized those risks, you have to decide if you're going to do something about them. So if a risk exists and it's too high of a risk, maybe you're going to put in some mitigating measures to reduce that risk to an appropriate uh, place. And that would usually be a judgment call by the Information Risk Council. So this is kind of the cycle that you're thinking about. It's a really important work stream in ISO 42001 or any ISO framework, and it takes a whole lot of effort. So if I'm thinking about big picture work efforts, and you're gonna have to write your aims, that's a really big work effort. You're gonna have to write policies, that's a really big work effort. And you're gonna have to do a risk management program, and that's a really big work effort. Later on in this course, we're gonna talk about actually managing your program. And at Risk360, we use something called Full Circle. That's our GRC platform. And we have a way to log all of your risks there and make decisions about risk. And I'll show you that's really cool. It takes it out of an Excel spreadsheet and puts it there. So we'll save that for later in the course. But I hope this helps you understand that concept of AI risk management and gives you a framework to point back to if you want to look at ISO 23894 and read a little bit more about that. So just know that this is a really important concept. So next up, what I want to talk about is the AI impact assessment. I'll point you to some language and talk about how AI risk assessment is unique and distinct from an AI impact assessment. So I'm looking forward to that, and I'll see you in the next session. Thank <music> you.